Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we have, I'm quiet because there's like a bunch of teenagers upstairs. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. So, we've got a little Hawaiian night planned. That's why I'm wearing this shirt and I'm wearing shorts. We're going to game night tonight, Jason and I. And I have, we have decided to do a Hawaiian theme. Got some pineapple wedges cut up. And I've got a bunch of other stuff all prepped, ready to go, including pebble ice. Yes, I had a friend of mine make me some pebble ice. Let me show you what else we have going on in here. Okay. Okay, I've got my bag packed here. One, I had found some snacks in the closet. <laughs> Looks like these need to be gone. And then I have my Italian soda syrups right here. I also have my little, I also have my little pina colada candle that we can light, a little cup. Right? And then I have some lights, little pineapple lights. So we are going to make pina colada Italian sodas. <laughs> not quite shave ice. I did not find the pineapple ice cream. We might stop and get look, check one more store on our way, but a friend of mine is also making a pineapple dessert. So we aren't gonna worry about that as much. I need a new battery. Let's walk this way. Then we are going to make fam wasubi. I think that's how you say it. So that's what we're gonna film tonight. And I have gotten permission from the couples that we can film that and show you how we make fam wasubi. And I will film myself giving it a try. New battery, hang on. Okay, new battery. All right, so I will show you how we're gonna make this spam. Probably won't film the rest of the games and all that kind of stuff, but it is gonna be a fun game night. And Jason's on his way home from work. He had a really good day today, so that's really promising. He's, he has like 12 hour work days, you guys. I feel so bad. He's training, he has, our sales are so high right now on top of having to train two new people. So I gotta give it to him. He's so busy. He's probably so tired by the time he gets home, but we're gonna go have fun. And I'm trying to think what else I need to take with me. I actually just barely thought to take some straws because it's always better to drink Italian sodas with straws. So maybe I'll take like our metal ones. They'll look better because they're all the same. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six straws for our Italian sodas. Maybe I'll take, gotta wash that one. They're all missing some of the little silicone. I'll look for that, but it's gonna be a fun night. And yes, I will wash that one. I may just take it off, because only one of them has one. So, uh, just kind of getting things ready to go, waiting for Jason to get home, and then we're gonna go. I've had a really low-key day. Today, I, I was gonna watch a conference for church today for the women, and then, suddenly realized that the friend of mine that passed away back home lives two doors away from my parents. Her funeral was this morning and I had tried to catch a flight to go home for that, but prices were like seven, eight hundred dollars. But anyway, their daughter-in-law posted on Instagram probably about nine o'clock this morning, a link to watch it on Zoom. And I was like, ah, this is so amazing. Like, thank you for Zoom like lately and for these opportunities for people out of town. So I got onto that call and watched this funeral. Like it just brought up all these old motions because it was literally in the same building where my parents, you know, where I had my mom's funeral and the same people, my same bishop, like everything was the same. It was just a different person and the grandkids got up and sang and it was just like, anyway, so I just gave myself some grace this morning to just sit and watch that for two hours. It was such an excellent um, service. All of the speakers were the family members, um, the kids, they have four kids. My friend gave the last talk um, about her mother. And after that, I just needed to like decompress. So I did that and then I watched a movie with Ashley. We made Rice Krispie treats. She's been begging me to make Rice Krispie treats because no one wants to eat these Rice Krispies because they're generic. So we finally made Rice Krispies, but we didn't get enough uh, marshmallows to make a double batch. So then, cause we still have half of a container. No one will eat these. So <laughs> Kaylee just got back from Target. So she grabbed me another bag of marshmallows. We'll make another batch of uh, Rice Krispie treats tomorrow for Sunday, but they were pretty good. I already had, I've already had one. It's okay, it's okay. So we're gonna wait for Jason to come home and then we will head out to our Hawaiian adventure. I wish it was in Hawaii. We're so close. I'm starting to pack, not pack. I'm starting to organize to pack. Those of you who know, know. I just realized what I was gonna pack. I was gonna take some jars to make our little sodas. There are some jars that I really regret, not jars, glasses, that I regret not getting in Maui when we were there with the, with the girls. I think I need six of them. Um, I really regret not getting them. They were like, they look like little, like 
tiki, I don't even know how to describe them. Like the little poles. Do you know what I'm talking about? Little Hawaiian poles. Six cups, so that's perfect. Can you guys even see those? There you go. I also need to remember the cream soda here, or the heavy cream here, and the cream sodas in the fridge. All right, went to grab a towel to pack these up with, and look, it's perfect timing. And I think I'm gonna use these in the kitchen when we get home, but I'm going to kind of tuck the towels down around the glasses to kind of keep them safe in travel. Okay, got them wrapped up in there. Put that in there. I have a lot of stuff that we're taking here. I can't, I'm gonna get a bag to put the ginger ales in. Gotta show the little Hawaiian flair that Jason's got going on now. Set up. He wouldn't put shorts on, but that's okay. It's cold. It's I only cold. went with it because it looked funny to have this shirt on with a pair of jeans, so. Yeah. But doesn't it make you excited? For Hawaii? Yeah. I'm excited, I'm excited. He even of... thought to pack. He even thought to start packing, you guys. Not the night before, so progress. He's got a show he's wanting to watch. What is it again? Musubi. 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 Right there? Okay. So do you have to go to a thick piece, right? Do you have to go to a special restaurant to get this in Hawaii? No, you can get it at like grocery store. I think it's probably the gas station. No. The gas station. I'm not joking. No, the gas stations and the grocery stores are the better places to get it. It's like to go, like it's a little bit of a I mean, it's just like a beef with rice. Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's like a beef? No, it tastes like it. It's mystery meat. It's yeah. mystery meat. Okay. Yeah, I that was great. Um, a little awkward. They were kind of like a little awkward, like being on camera. But but Kevin, our friend Kevin, he was one of the hand models with the salsa and some of the cards and stuff. <laughs> he was like, I need royalties on that when you get famous. But we were just joking. But our friends um, ended up running out of time today to actually hand make the their own musubis. Musubis. Is that how you say Something it? Like that. So they bought them. But that's okay, because they were actually really good. I'm we're good. actually quite surprised with how good they are. No, they're, they're good. So I'm I actually might buy one in Hawaii to see if they taste better than the ones here, which actually they probably should be better. Unless they use a different teriyaki sauce. You use sticky Japanese rice, you use spam. Yeah. Those, and then you use the seaweed. Yeah. So I actually really liked it and we had tons of good food. Uh, so I think it was a very big success and it kind of got us thinking we should have a theme night every time And so we joked that we would do a French theme next next time But we have no idea what we would bring besides like French pastries. I don't know, but uh, I'll just be extra arrogant <laughs> You're already <laughs> you, That won't be hard to do, but we are gonna be here next week um, To be able to play games, so they're gonna go out to another house um, we will tell you guys what we're doing next week later um, But we're gonna end this and say goodnight to you guys. Do you guys like do theme nights with your Friends like you should it's really fun, nights, but, game but like nights. game nights, but like it was fun to have a theme Find different foods that we could bring and I don't know. It was really fun kind of yes I went a little bit more all out than the other ones because I love Hawaii, but had a great time. We also everybody brought stuff. Everybody, had... yeah, everyone brought stuff. It was great. Um, it was fun because um, the host Kevin and Marla they ended up turning on the Maui live cam for on Apali Beach, which was so fun because we've been there and we've seen the camera up on the hotel. 
and then they played Hawaiian music from their computer. So we kind of had like, you know, a really fun atmosphere while we watched the sun go down in Hawaii and the sunset and we watched all the catamarans come up onto shore and anyway, it was really fun. We had a good time. It was fun. So take care you guys and we'll see you guys next time. Good night.